The third American hostage killed by ISIS, 26-year-old Peter Kasich, murdered in the most gruesome video yet. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Pleffler in New York. Kasich was in Syria for humanitarian work. He was kidnapped by the group that calls itself the Islamic State and then killed. And in a few moments, Kasich's parents are expected to make a statement about their son, and we will take you there to Indianapolis. But first... Right now, I want to bring in ABC's Karen Travers for the latest. Karen? Good afternoon, Dan. This is a very tragic ending for this American aid worker. And right now, U.S. and European officials are pouring over this new videotape for any clues they may find on where Peter Kasich's killers may be. American aid worker Peter Kasich traveled to Syria to help people wounded in the bloody civil war there. We just get one life and that's it. And today his friends are heartbroken and angry at his brutal execution by ISIS. And he had to help the world and what he wanted to do was try to heal the brokenness of the world. In the execution video, ISIS claims that Kasich was murdered in the Syrian city of Dabak, but does not say when. The alleged executioner appears to be the same masked man with a distinctive British accent seen in other videos. And here we are, burying the first American crusader in Dabak. Inside the government, working very hard to exactly identify him and anything we can learn about him. The so-called Jihad John appeared elsewhere in the 15-minute video, in a scene where he gives the order to behead 16 men described as Syrian soldiers. Unlike previous videos where the ISIS fighters are wearing hoods, here they all show their faces as they commit the cold-blooded murders. And Jihad John made no effort to conceal his location. Behind him, landmarks are clearly visible, buildings, roads, and farmlands. So many valuable clues for intelligence officials to analyze. And Dan, ISIS is holding another American hostage, a young female aid worker. And in this video, unlike previous videos, ISIS did not announce the name of their next intended victim. Dan? Right, and Karen, and that is something that they've done in those previous videos. What else, though, is different that sets this one apart? Several things that are different that intelligence officials are certainly noticing in this. First, there was that mass execution. You haven't seen that in previous videos. And in this one, the killers had their faces shown. They were not wearing hoods. In fact, today, the French government said that they believe that one of those killers is a French citizen. Also important to know that Peter Kassig is not shown alive, as we've seen in some of the previous execution videos. A friend of has said that perhaps he did not go along with that scripted reading that you saw in previous videos, that maybe he knew what was about to happen and he tried to mess up this video. Dan, these are all things that U.S. and European officials are really going to go through very carefully to see what clues it may provide uh, as to where these killers are. Dan. All right, Karen, thank you for that. ABC's Karen Travers in Washington. Karen, thank you. Peter Kasich's parents are now speaking in Indianapolis about their son. Let's listen in. Good afternoon. Greater love hath no man than this, than to lay down his life for another. A while ago, we were informed that our beloved son, Abdul Rahman, no longer walks this earth. Our hearts, though heavy, are held up by the love and support that has poured into our lives these last few days. One of Abdul Rahman's teacher, the mother of some of his friends, wrote before his slaying, if a person can be both a realist and an idealist, then that's Peter. Peter has earned the right to be both. In 26 years, he has witnessed and experienced firsthand more of the harsh realities of life than most of us can imagine. But rather than letting the darkness overwhelm him, he has chosen to believe in the good in himself and in others. Peter's life is evidence that he has been right all along. One person makes a difference. Our hearts are battered, but they will mend. The world is broken, but it will be healed in the end. And good will prevail as the one God of many names will prevail. Please pray for Abdul Rahman, or Pete, if that's how you know him, at sunset this evening. Pray also for all people in Syria, in Iraq, and around the world that are held against their will. And lastly, 
please allow our small family the time and privacy to mourn, cry, and yes, forgive, and begin to heal. Thank you very much. Ed and Paula Kasich in Indianapolis addressing the murder of their son, 26-year-old Peter Kasich, at the hands of the group ISIS. You can keep up to date with the very latest on this story, downloading the ABC News app and starring that story for exclusive updates on the go. For now, I'm Dan Kleffler in New York.